Those are wonderful horses, aren't they? Horses are mentioned all through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelations. That's true, Mike. In Revelation chapter 6, verse 2, it says, And I saw, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bowl, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Wow, what a visual, BT. Thanks, and thank you everyone for being here on Mike's Inspiration Station, the show that doesn't horse around when it comes to inspiring your creativity. For today's show, I'm going to teach you how to draw horses. Before we get started, let's learn some interesting facts about horses. Did you know that any marking on the forehead of a horse is called a star? Did you know there's about 75 billion horses in the world? Did you know that a horse sleeps two and a half to three hours a day? Did you know that a young female horse is called a filly? Did you know that a horse has 205 bones? Did you know that no two horses are alike? Did you know that a male horse is called a stallion? Did you know that a horse's hoof is like a fingernail? It grows and needs to be clipped. That was fun. All right, let's start on our first drawing. I'm going to draw a full-bodied horse. Here's how I did my sketch. I'm going to sketch in these circles first. One circle for the horse's head, and these two larger ones for his body. Now a smaller circle for the horse's muzzle, and I'll connect these two circles like that. You can start to see the shape of the horse's head. Now from this circle, I'll draw two lines to create the horse's neck. Now I'll connect these two circles to create the horse's body. See how I've used these circles together to create the basic shape or the skeleton of the horse. I'm drawing smaller circles now, one here, and now I'll connect them. Now I'm going to draw his other leg, two straight lines, and connect them to another small circle. Now two more lines connected to this smaller circle again. Good. Now for his hind legs. Bring these lines down to this circle, and two more smaller lines down to this circle. And I'll do the same for the other leg. It's starting to come together, isn't it? Now I'll draw his hooves. One hoof there, and three more to go. It's interesting the different ages of the horse and the names that they're called. A young baby horse uh, is called a fowl. Two years old, uh, he's called a yearling. And a male horse that's under four years old is called a colt. Once it gets older than four years, now I'll just indicate his tail. Good. All right, my sketch is complete. And now I'm going to use this black colored pencil to fill in the detail. This is the part I love. Now I'm going to add some detail by outlining the horse. I'll start first with the cheek, then the forehead, like that, and the muzzle and the mouth. Now his nostril. A young female horse, as I mentioned, is called a filly. But after the age of four, then she's called a mare. Now 
because the horse's eyes are on the side of their faces, they can see items and objects behind them. Now this line right here for the bottom of his neck. And now the top of his neck. Good. Now for the horse's shoulder. Just like that. This part of the horse is the forearm. And now his elbow. I'm drawing his knee. And once I'm done sketching in the horse, I'll add some darks or shading to give it more shape. Let me finish outlining his legs. That long narrow bone below the knee is called a cannon. That rounded bone near the ankle is called a fetlock. The horse is an amazing creature. This underneath part of the horse is called the barrel. That rounded part of his ribcage right there. Good. Now the back of the horse. Now I'm going to draw his hind leg. Now the other side of his uh, upper thigh here. Bring that line back up. Bring this line around and stop right there. Now for the uh, bottom portion of his hind leg. I bring this line down to the smaller circle. Just like that. And I'll finish this hoof. One right there. Cool. Now I'm going to work on his, uh, the final leg here, his hind leg. I'll just bring this line down. I myself love to watch westerns because I enjoy seeing, the, seeing people riding the horses along the prairie and down the road and inside the towns. It's just fascinating to watch. Horses are one of God's most amazing creations. Did you know that when horses are in a herd, the most dominant female horse is called the alpha mare? Cool. Okay, now is a good time to outline his tail. Like so. Now I'm going to put this line here on his neck to indicate a uh, muscle right there. Let's get his ears completed. When I think about the horse's ears, did you know that the horse's ears are able to turn in different directions to pick up different sounds? I'll add some uh, detail around his eye. Like that. And the hair you see between his ears is called the forelock. Okay, now for his mane. I'm being really loose. Drawing in all of these hairs on his mane. Bearing down on the pencil and adding some darker lines to his mane, like this. Good. Horse sketch is looking pretty good. Another name for the horse family is equine. And equine is the scientific name for the horse. Now horses are very social animals. They like to have companions.
They like to have companionship. I like using the side of my pencil. By using the side of the pencil, I'm able to blend and cover a large area, create soft tones. Some shading on his neck, just like that. Shading will help give this horse some form and shape. Around his chest and his shoulder there. Starting to take shape, isn't it? Some detail around his knee. Now on his forearm, you can see the muscles on his forearm right there. I really enjoy shading my drawing after I do my sketch. And around the bone near his hoof. Darker underneath this leg here. Now some shading on this leg right here. Bring it down around this bone here. We'll shade in some of the hoof here. Now I'm putting some very nice shading on the uh, on the under part of the horse or the barrel as I've mentioned. It's called the barrel, that rounded section nearest uh, rib cage. And I'm shading that in. Over here by his shoulder. On the hind quarters of the horse. You can see that muscle. I've created that muscle right there. Do you know where the light source is coming from? Can you guess? Someone said from the top of the horse. That's right, from the top of the horse. Horses are mentioned uh, all through the Bible. You might want to look through scripture and see how many times horses are mentioned. That might be a fun project. In Proverbs 20, verse 7, it says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Pretty good scripture. I'm just shading it in. I don't think there's any animal that has contributed more than the horse. Some shading around his eyes, just like that, just to give it some dimension and shape. Now I'll add some shading around his nostril here, around his mouth. Until the steam engine, the horse was the key source of travel. Now let's put some shading in the ears. You know the horse was very important during biblical times, and still is today. The soldiers and warriors would ride their horses into battle, and they helped to pull wagons filled with supplies and, and goods. Also the horse was used for hunting. Using the side of my pencil I'm going to shade in his tail, just to make it look nice and soft. The horse was very instrumental in, in helping uh, provide food. They helped to pull the plows to plant the crops in the fields. And then, of course, they were used for leisure or entertainment. Now we need some shading underneath the horse to make it look like he's standing on the ground. There. That finishes our first horse drawing. Let's go on to the next horse drawing. I'm going to draw a close-up of a horse's head. First thing I want to do is roughly sketch in the basic shape of the horse's face and neck. So I'm using these very simple lines just to outline the horse's face. Two slight curved lines like this to show the horse's cheek. This square will indicate the uh, the muzzle area of the horse and his mouth. These two elongated lines here for the horse's neck. And I'm roughing in the horse's ears now, just like that. And once I'm done with the basic uh, outline of his face, 
I'll go back and I'll add some detail with my fine point marker. I'll finish roughing in these ears. All right, my sketch is done. Now that I'm done with my sketch, it's time to add some detail with my black marker. I'll start by drawing his eye right there. Now his other eye on the other side. Let's fill those in, but I'm going to leave a, somebody said a highlight, that's right. I'm leaving a highlight on both eyes, and that gives it a shine, doesn't it? Now for the top part of the horse's uh, forehead, and bring this line up to his ear. Every time I think about horses, I think of how powerful they are, how strong they are. No wonder they played an important role in doing a lot of work. Now for the front portion of the horse's face. And a curved line right there below his eye and another curved line right there. See how this initial sketch has helped me to draw this horse? I can see exactly where I have to add the detail. That's the horse's cheek. Curve line and bring it down right there. And these two lines here for the front part of his, uh, the horse's face or the front part of the muzzle. Two more lines just to show the uh, outside of the horse's muzzle there. Now for the outside of the nostril, continue it around. And we'll draw the other side like that, flaring out where the nostril will be. Let's bring this line over to create uh, the top of his lip. And now let's create the bottom of the horse's uh, mouth. Bring this line down, bring it over, and stop right there, good. Now let's work on his nostrils. And another one on the other side. Bring this line down like that. And curve that line around and connect it. And I'm gonna go back and darken inside the nostril like so. All right, let's just add a few more lines right there. Finish coloring in this nostril and that nostril. And just a small curved line right there that showed the top part of his muzzle. Part of the horse's mane protruding between his ears like so. And like we learned on that earlier sketch of the horse, this area of his mane between his ears is called the forelock. And then I'll shade it in between there and it gives it some dimension when I do that. Looks like the hair is separating. There's the top part of, his, uh, of the hair. And let's draw those ears now. Curve line right there. And another curve line. Bring it down. Now let's draw the other ear. Bring that line down. And just like we did right there, let's do it on the other side. Bring it down. And connect it right there. Good. The good looking horse. All right, now for the inside of the ear. So I've indicated some uh, very loose lines inside of his ear just to indicate some fuzzy hairs inside of his ears. Good. And some eyelashes coming off the eyelids like so.
Let's draw this part uh, here, the bottom part of his neck. Bring that line down and stop right there. Let's draw the top part of his neck. Curve lines, many curve lines to create the hair or his mane line after line. Curve lines, just like that. Flowing curve lines draped over the horse's neck. You can add as many lines as you want depending how thick you want that mane to look. Here I add a little black in between those two lines. You see that? And that helps to give some separation in the mane between the hairs. And the more lines I add, the thicker the mane will be, or the thicker the mane will look. Now a muscle in his neck. That line kind of shows a muscle in his neck. Let's go back and add some more hairs on his mane. I can keep doing this, keep adding lines. I can make it darker and darker as I add more lines. Look at that. Look at that, I'm being really loose. That looks pretty good. I think I'll go back now and, and I'll add some shading. Now we're not using colored pencil, I'm using a marker. So when I shade this horse, I'm going to use lines to create shading. When using a marker, I prefer this method for shading. Just some straight lines. These lines on the front of the horse's face or on his muzzle between his nostrils, this will add some shape and tone right there like that where that muscle is on his face. Now some lines on his cheeks, smaller as I go, just like that. I'll start out small and the lines will get larger, but they're still close together. Notice where I'm putting my uh, shading. So the light source basically would be coming from the top of the horse. So the bottom of the cheeks would have shading on them. Okay, now let's add some detail right above his eye, right there. And I'll do the same on the other side. Now some shading to bring out this muscle in his neck, just like that. You'll notice that by adding shading to a drawing, your drawing will start to take shape. If I didn't add any shading, well, the drawing would look flat. All right, some more lines underneath his neck. Just a series of lines close together. Smaller as I go down his neck. See that? Smaller and smaller and smaller and stop right there. Good. There, that gives it some dimension. And I think I'm done. There, that looks pretty good. That was a stable full of fun. Thanks for watching today's show. I hope I was able to inspire some of you to draw horses. And I hope you continue to practice in your spare time. So until next time, may God bless you and inspire all of you. So long.